Hello there, everybody. Welcome to this fine Wednesday night world building stream. Uh, I'm Brandon. I'm Paul. And tonight we're getting back into it. Uh, I guess we can do a little review of like what we did last week and just kind of talk about uh, what episode, what is that, uh, what's this episode about? Uh, we are uh, CJ. This is our Wednesday world building streams. We do world building every Wednesday. Um, and we're just kind of building a world with the community. We're going to take suggestions, big goofy, stupid ideas, and just kind of build this world together. And uh, yeah, have some fun with it. Let's do a little recap of what we did last week. I know last week we started working on um, Elven Glade specifically, which is like our Elven kind of continent to the west of the realm. We started working on some villages. We started with Norwood. Um, it's a township in Elven Glade, which is home to about 200 civilians. And it's a small trading village. Uh, there's some notable figures in here. There's Mayor Francis Money Bagoff. Uh, you guys made him up. Uh, he's the mayor. Uh, there is Chad uh, Snigletooth. He's a human vampire and runs the Vivele Shed, which is a waffle breakfast bar in Norwood. And then there's Ross Bluethorn. If you're a fan of Secrets of Alteran, the campaign we did last year, uh, this is who Vitalis Goldrill used to be, who she got reincarnated as, and she is a druid that resides in the world of, uh, or sorry, in the village of Norwood, just kind of like being a mentor to druids up and coming. Uh, locations, the Vale Shed, which is the Waffle House, essentially. There's Old Pop's General Store. It's just a typical little general store. And then the one notable thing about... Um, Norwood is the wishing well. It's a small well in the center of this village. Uh, and if you toss a coin inside the well, then you get some sort of like, uh, like, I don't know, bonus, whatever you would determine as a GM. Then we started working on Eldershore. Eldershore is a port town that sits next to the capital city. It was destroyed during the Great Change, and it sits on like pretty much like a massive dock made out of ironwood that goes out into the ocean, so that way it stays stable out in the ocean. Some notable figures are Julia Corelli. She's a female dwarf and head of the Lost Winds Trade Guild in Eldershore, um, who is like the trade post uh, kind of guild throughout the realm. And there's Theoden Shatterwood. He's a male elf, and he's the head of the Hard Knot Lumberyard, which is like the Lumberers Guild that is like throughout the realm that, you know, deals with chopping down wood and those sorts of things. Uh, a few of the locations that are in Eldershore are the Lost Winds Trade Guild, the Iron uh, Knot Lumberyard, and the Ships Fall In, a tavern built out of the remains of what was left of Eldershore after its destruction from the Great Change. Rather than letting materials that were let go to waste, the city decided to honor the original Eldershore by building a tavern out of the remains. So that's what we did last week. Uh, let's catch up with chat real quick, everybody, before we hop into everything. Hello, everybody. How we doing? Uh, starts and yeah, we just started. Hey y'all, get to the point. What software is this? This is uh, OneNote. OneNote is fantastic for this. Paul introduced me to it, and I really enjoy it. And um, it's free. Yeah. Let's see. There's a free version on Windows. There, yeah, this, I am using the free version actually. Uh, pack Pack Tactics. Hey you guys. Uh, oh God, why? What's up, y'all? Waffle House is found in the host. Yeah, there there is a Waffle House in the realm. Thanks to you guys. You think the Waffle House should fight McDonald's? Paul, you and Brandon should make an island that Mr. Tibbs is part of uh, with a bunch of Navy vessels. Uh, Mr. Tibbs is uh, got a very tragic backstory we're going to get to in a one-shot here soon. Uh, turkey is so expensive, put a atomic bomb on my up. Oh, Jesus Christ. This isn't as fun as I thought I'd be. Uh, I'm good, feeling uh, well with my normal human emotions. I feel that as well, uh, F-106 Delta darts. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. Paul, what do you think we should do tonight? Should we keep on working on some village stuff? Should we work I on mean, something we different? I mean, we keep working on Norwood. Okay. Or not well, Norwood, Elven Glade. Um, what's the next city's name? Because I did add some template cities that aren't showing up yet on yours. I figured we start working on the capital city next. Okay. Because if I remember, where is our map at? This is where we're at right here. So we're down here. We're Elder Shores. Elder Shore is right here. Right next to it is the capital city. That's what this big kind of structure is right here. Um, and I figured we just kind of keep working our way there. Soul Grove, right? Yeah. No, this is not Soul Grove. This is the city of Elven Glade. Oh. So it's, like, this, so it's Elven Glade. It's Elven Glade City, essentially. I mean, not sure if that should be like the name. It can be the working name. This is the continent of Elven Glade. Uh, and this is the capital city that doesn't really have a name. It was just called Elven Glade City, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, I added that in there. So if you refresh your map, your. One note. Uh, Vanaheim, first stream you could join. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you for reading my comment. Yeah, I, we, the one thing I really try, I try to read as many comments as I can. I know sometimes during our um, more hectic streams, things kind of uh, kind of uh, get a little buck wild, but for, for Wednesdays, it's pretty easy to keep up with. Have you thought about doing a campaign with chat as a character? With chat as a character? We did do that one time, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. it was Chaos Incarnate. It was, it was so fucking good. Absolutely. So, city locations. I think Elder Shore is good for now. I'm trying to keep these a little simple because we can always go back and add more things to it. Yeah. Um. Oh, yep. My 
So you have Elven Glade, and then right underneath it, we have another template city. Yep. So we can add some more cities as we need. All right, the capital city of the Elven Glade. Elven Glade. Elven Glade City. Love the unpack tactics with you today. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mike. Oh, thank you, Mike. I'm not part appreciate of it, it, but I know Brandon will. <laughs> I appreciate it. The capital city of Elven Glade, Elven Glade City, is home to primarily elves. However, is host to various other humanoids. I like the world building stream. Keep it up. Thanks, our curator. The, the city itself curator. is. Very welcoming. And uh, what would be like a word for good? Uh, pause, I guess positive in nature. Uplifting in nature? Uplifting in nature is good. Yeah, it's very positive and uplifting in nature. Hello, John McPherson. This is our weekly world building stream where we will take ideas from the chat as we ideally just keep building the world of all our realm of Alperin for the cantrip cast. Uh, it's the place where all our campaigns and one shots usually take place unless it's uh, like Power Rangers, the Gamma Rangers show that we have currently going on. Vanaheim stories. I wish I could be a player in a campaign of yours. Um, so yeah, we're just hanging out, making a world. Right now we're going the capital of Elven Glade. Ironically named Elven Glade. All right. Elven Glade desperately needs a giant spire in the center spire. Yeah, it does. That's what we have. Yeah, and if you watch Seekers of All Terran, there's three there's three spires essentially in the city. Um that's where like kind of like the castle is, where you could say where the Duke lives. Uh and there's the middle spire, which is kind of like the king spire, and there's the two like kind of like smaller spires next to it. Uh, let's see, the capital city of Elven Glade is primarily home of to the elves, however, it is host to various other humanoids. The city itself is very welcoming and uplifting in nature. While uplifting and positive, the capital city is one of the most well-trained armies in the realm due to the power in numbers. Most of the city structures are made out of ironwood while surrounded by thick forested area. Cool. How about a college of magic? Study the great change. That would be the Blue Over College. Um, we have something which for that. Which currently crashed down. Which currently crashed down, yes. On its own island. What do you recommend to do learning to DM? Honestly, just jump right into it and learn as you go and listen to like some podcasts and shows to get some good ideas on like just different methods. I, that's the, probably the easiest piece of advice I could probably give. My advice to that would be find a group of friends that you trust that yeah, you can play that with too. and just have fun with because that's the easiest way to get into it. Oh, yeah. You try DMing a bunch of strangers, it gets it's a little hectic, mm -hmm. at least in my opinion. Yep. Uh, all right. Notable vigors. Um, obviously, we're going to have Duke Vasori. Hobgoblin General. He's not a Hobgoblin. Oh, I I wouldn't mind. You know what? I like Hobgoblin General. Elven City? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Are your elves pretentious? No, they're not. No, it, I literally said that they're they're very uplifting I'm and sorry, welcoming. I was in the middle of typing other things in the middle of that. Oh. Right, I forgot what book you suggested for learning the ways of D&D. Uh, there's a bunch of books out there for, like, learning D&D, &D, but if you want a good one, like, for a first adventure to run, I would really recommend, you know, uh, The Lost Minds of Found Elver, which is just the D&D starter set. It's a very good starter one-shot. It really is. The Lord of the City. Duke of Asori. He is a... Okay. Male elf. Elven crime syndicates. Uh, Lord of the city who continues to serve what to name it? These people. Honor. Fasori. While stern in nature, very much cares for his land and his people and would do whatever is needed to protect them. Who else be some notable figures here in Elven Glade, the capital city? So obviously Duke Vasori, he was in Secrets of Altair, and he was like the leader slash, uh, you know, kind of like king of the Duke. He was the Duke of the city. But who would also be some notable figures for, I guess, Elven Glade? Like, what else would the city have? This is the capital city, so it's probably going to be like the biggest, you know? Let's see. Elven Crime Syndicates. 
I'm not opposed to that, actually. I'm currently setting up crime syndicates right are now. Are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just in the background reorganizing how our factions are set up. How about a rat man that is in charge of waste disposals, except that he is uh, corrupt and he has a ridiculous upcharge? A rat man that's in charge of, like, the city, like, trash disposal company? I don't know why oh I really like that, though. That's fucking cool. He just your... sells the trash. What's your favorite D&D &D or other TTRPG adventure module? Uh, adventure module, I would have to say, uh, for D&D &D specifically, that's Waterdeep Dragon Heist is one of my favorites, personally. Um, if, if, if I'm going <laughs> to... Toot my own tour. I'm gonna say Benji's Guide or in Tookie Island, but that's more of a setting. Well, I mean, we if you look at JD Miller, I suggest the Guide or in Tookie Island. There you go. Very easy to follow yeah. in directions for your players. Advi you yeah, you know what? Uh, Duke Vasora does need an advisor. Who would Duke's Who would Duke uh advisor be? I think that's that makes sense. Yeah, give us the name, guys. Name race. I don't want this to be in the same. Can I move this up? No. What are you trying to do? There we go. I want to make a whole other. Hold on. See how these are in separate blocks? I'm trying to do the same thing, but it won't let me. All right. Click way down. There we go. Yeah, right there. Just start typing. All right, give me an advisor way. for Duke Vasori. The Hobgoblin in general can be nice. and was a war prisoner. Elias Silverman, Grandmaster of Combat School. Elias Craft Silverman. I'm going to write that down. I mean, should I run a pre-built campaign or just make my own? I went with a pre-built, like, starter just to get the, like, a one-shot going, and then I wrote the rest of mine, depending on how creative you are. Um, but you can also like edit pre-built campaigns easily. Let's see. What else do we miss? I do like Elias Silvermoon a lot. That name just sounds good. He's the Grandmaster of the Elven Combat uh, College, I guess we'll call it for now. Back to the there. village of the mighty Union Pacific Railroad. Jesus Christ, why do y'all want the railroad? Start them as off as a logging village and then go into a railway when steam comes into play. How about a All religious right, so faction that runs everything from the shadows? I think we're kind of working on that. We actually have a uh, so religious thing down here. I have here. railroads listed down for the next era. We have a logging town called, what is it? It's not, well, it's not a logging town, but it is. Let's see. Dragons yeah, at no, free Norwood. will. Norwood is, is it Norwood? For what, the, the lodging? Trade village, for, for uh, the logging? Logging the is Elder Shore. Shore. Uh, let's see, Cadius Vorgoth, an orc sorceress as the Duke's advisor. I think an orc would be fucking cool, actually, if an orc and an elf were working together. Half orc and half street performers that share a mother. Hmm. I kind of like that, actually. Where was that? Caldus Vorgoth. You know, I really like that, not gonna lie. Caldus Orgoth. Female or uh orc. Orc sorceress as the Duke's advisor. I like that. Yeah, me too. Say, yeah. Uh, the combat college is Silver Moon. Yeah. Beautiful. Advisor to Duke Sora. I mean, what we're taking all ideas. If it if it's cool or common or simple. Sora and like... Caldus. Been longtime friends. Uh, Leonin. Or Caldus. We actually have a world lore that we covered in episode one. We went over kind of how the timeline's broken up. So in the beginning, it, you just have the world. We're dealing with post the great change where essentially somebody, somebody detonated a magical nuke that split one of the continents in half. And we're dealing with the side effects of that. So we kind of start in the world over. Um, when trains exist in this, in the village of mining, will take control of the world. Well, I mean, at least their continent. They'll have faster travel within their continent. You're going back to Alteran? This is Alteran. You still there, Brandon? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just typing. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you're good. I like what I'm typing up right now. I'm in, a, I'm in, a, I'm in a, a vibe right now. Hold on one second. Keep no, on talking, good. ball. Find a bandit group that has been led by a hobgoblin that was neglected. How about an Amethyst Dragon that's a teacher at a magic school? I kind of like that for the BRC. I'm going to just make a note here. Uh, streams. I like the Amethyst Dragon. Dragon, that's a 
Eastern. All right, this is what I put for uh, Caldas Vorgoth, female orc, the advisor to the Duke Vasori. Vasori and Caldas have been longtime friends. However, Caldas initially was not the initial advisor to the Duke. After the rise of the Spectre, the original advisor to the Duke was killed. Uh, if you don't know who the Spectre is, the Spectre was the BBEG of our previous campaign. Uh, Duke Vasori appointed his longtime friend, Caldas, to be his advisor, knowing that she would make a great and trustworthy advisor, but also uh, be a representation to the growing relationship between the elves and the orcs. Sweet. I like that. Love it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, give me, like, one more notable figure. We'll move on to, like, some and locations. guys, as far as, like, the, uh, the smaller NPCs, we're leaving a lot of that ambiguous for yeah. DMs to fill in. Um, for those of you just joining, for this is your first stream, this is a, uh, realm that is going to be system agnostic, so it should work with any high fantasy system, Pathfinder, D&D. &D. Yeah, right. the whole, those the whole point of this too. is for us to, like, eventually make it kind of, like, public in a way, or somehow make it available for everybody to kind of, like, look at it as they want to. And if you want to run it here, you can, no matter what you're playing. We're not going to, like, add stat blocks and everything. Maybe, like, basic stuff like, oh, this monster would be, like, hard to kill. Or this monster might be, like, easy to kill, you know? You might add, like, a ranking system, like a one through five of, like, yeah, like difficulty or whatever. Four intelligence. Well, yeah. I'm saying, like, four intelligence, four strength. Like, yeah, like just do, like, general system, broad. Yeah. yeah, and then you can adjust that to your, um, to your system of choice. Because I personally like Starfinder, so I'm super excited for when we do yeah, here. not this era, but two eras later, when we're dealing with the Alteran High Fantasy science fiction and they have space travel. Let's see, this era that we're doing is going to be just high fantasy. The middle era is going to be high fantasy with some technology, art, uh, artificers. Um, Noble. will be more common and like technology and tinkerers will be like one per town versus like one per ten um oh you know what i know who to add for a noble figure i like the the rat trash man idea i don't know why i like it a lot <laughs> uh give me a give me a name for the rat man somebody give me a name uh thank you dnd art creator 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 give me a name for the rat man lore <laughs> trasgo the the rat man, a humanoid rat that's in charge of L1's waste disposal. However, he charges a large amount of money for his crew services. I like uh, Trasgo. All right, I like it. Uh, male rat humanoid. Trasgo is in charge of the Elven Glade waste disposal. I just feel like Service. he's like on the city council for some reason. Yeah, for for no fucking reason, he's just on the city like, council. Like, he's he's one of the like, like obviously the, like the higher ups that are gonna be like on the council. Yeah, but I feel like he's one of the, like the ones that got elected to represent like Brandon the Rat Man, Wormtail the community, Herbert, Bonzo. I like Trasgo. I like Trasgo sounds interesting. Trasgo's a the trash uh, goes. Yeah, the trash goes. Uh, in charge of Elven Glade. Uh, ooh, not was disposal, waste disposal. Yes, can spell. Waste of the service. Uh, for some reason, he was appointed the city council due to his knowledge of the of the of the, of the oh wait, wait, due to his knowledge of the overall layout and locations. I feel like he knows all the rumors. Too. Residing like he's around, gossip. yeah, Elven Glade. Grasgo may seem sketchy and may overcharge for his services if however, he's a rat he, person we can't yeah. give him a pet rat however yeah however he does <laughs> <That's> so messed <laughs> up <laughs> this messed up <laughs> however he does uh gain uh much knowledge about various rumors and uh rumors and information yeah. that spread through the city due to his business. The rat can be named Splinter. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> TMNT would like to talk. Um, yeah, let's do one more. This is the capital city. I want one more so, noble figure. Grimar, one more. a drow rogue that serves as a duke spy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to say Dark Elf because I'm just trying to say it from, like, IP, but yes. What's it? Silk? Grimark. Grimark. G... R I yeah, I got M A R K. It. Yeah. Dark Elf. Let's see. Male Dark Elf. The spy master. Actually, I like female. Let's see female. Silk. 
Thinking like silk, like uh, spider, spider woman silk. Female dark elf. Silk serves as the Duke's spy. Spy master and assassin network. I, I would. I don't think that. Well, here's the thing. Duke's he's like a lawful good guy. He's not gonna try to assassinate anybody, but he would have a so, spy. But he would have a spy network yeah. to make sure that like make sure everything's going okay the, and like nobody's trying anything sketchy. Yeah. Of, like, yeah. To, yeah, he wouldn't assassinate to, to anybody. Keep the realm safe. So he'd have a spy network. Yeah, Brandon, put your podcast partner Stake in. Stake is currently very Stake is going to be joining us for these. Um soon. Well, he's he's, he's literally in the middle of moving right now to Texas, so he's kind of called like all over the place right now. But he is the, the intention is he's going he's going to join us with these cuz like this is our realm we're building together and he wants to do it. He's just been fucking all over the place recently, which I understand. So serves as the Duke spy master. He needs a tiny pet human. Throughout not. That's also oh. messed up. Yeah, they're not only the the city the entire continent of Elvenglade continues to provide him with needed information when needed. So and has been very pretty much everything loyal that's going on in the continent to the city for a long time. We'll just do that. Keep it easy for now. All right, cool. That's some good notable figures. Let's do some locations. What's what would some look uh, good locations be for here? Obviously, we need some sort of like big like tree. What's at the main spire? The main spire is like the king. That's like the king's spire. That would be. You should the city locations. We should list what are the, spires? the spires. Yeah. We should enlist some locations within the spires. Yeah, the spires. So like the name of each spire. Uh, the king spire. the spires uh to do a layout yeah. like to the north yeah with, to the north of the city lies the a magic pond that's the fountain of youth spires of elven glade the silver moon academy a place for future warriors to be trained tall ironwood structures that can be seen even from the farthest distance of the continent. These three spires each have their own individual purpose. Individual purpose. I know one is the prison, like one's the cells. I know that one. I want steak as a wandering bodyguard, bodyguard because then you could say, "Hey, steak, go, go here." here. <laughs> so, let's see. The home of the king's resting quarters and throne room, as well as the grand hall where the city council. And nobles meet. The prison spire. Primary prison. Is there an entire spire for the prison? Or does it, the prison reside in a spire? The prison would reside in, in one of the spires. So what what are the three spires? There's one's the king spire, one's the the army spire. I don't know what the third should be. Which of the third? I don't think one spire should be just the prison. You're right. Maybe like, the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to do this. So like the home of the king's resting quarters in the throne room, and then like a grand hall where the city council and nobles meet. So I changed it around, and then like there's also like the Silver Moon Academy. That somebody said of uh, Vanaheim stories that the Silver Moon Academy, a place for future warriors to be trained. Um. Blade Army Spire. Spire is home to the Elven Glade Army and its forces. Barracks, training. Did you say the King Spire is the tallest spire? It is, yeah. Okay. Uh, the barracks, training areas, and more for the army side here. 
You see what I did with the king spire? Yeah, I did, yeah. If you want to go and do that to the, the Glade Army Spire. Yeah. What I should the third that. spire be? Guys, what should, what should the third spire be? The Justice Spire? What would the Justice Spire be? The Arcane Spire? Arcane's not bad, too. Put the Silver Moon Academy there. Silver Moon's the... Well, that's that's what okay that 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 would be the Glade Army Spire. I'll just call this. You know, I like the it, Silver Moon. Ar I like I like to call it the Sil. You know, I think the Silver Moon Army is a good name for the army. Oh, you're just gonna name it after the the teacher the, after the academy? Well, oh, never mind. You're right. Um, because mm, yeah. like the uh, Silver Moon is the Grandmaster of the Elven Combat College, so the Silver Moon you're Academy right. makes sense. The Glade Army makes sense. I don't think you should call it the Glade Army Spire. I think it should be something else. Yeah, I'm just the King it for now. Spire. You should be like, and then like that's where the Glade Army is. So like, the Spire is home to the Elven Glade Army and its forces, the barrack, training areas, and more. I gotta wait for you to. Say. I'll do, as well as the Silver Moon Academy. We'll just do that for now until I think of a different name for it. Did my music already stop? It did. There we go. Um, what should the third spire be? Let's see what we got. Star spire. Maybe it's astrology. Ooh, the star spire. Oh, I like it. I like it. The star spire. It's the second tallest. Yeah, I like that. Spire in. Sp Second tallest spire of the three. Here, many mages and intelligent uh, historians, I guess. Yeah, historians. Study space and other space. So, uh, they study magic, space, creation, and more. Here, many mages and intelligent historians study magic, space, creation, and more. Hoping to one day learn more about the realms and their creation. I like that for now. Cool. All right, cool. The spires. A giant tavern. We do need a giant tavern. I know there was a tavern that I didn't in Secrets of Altair. I forget what I called it. So is the Silver Moon Academy that's going to be in the army spire, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. The Star Spire be a super high class hotel. <laughs> no, I really like I really like the idea of the Star Spire being like a study of like magic and history and like space and shit, you know. I can't think of a okay, okay, yeah, yeah, tavern, tavern. Uh all right. I imagine I want like a big fucking treehouse tavern. What would a big treehouse tavern in an Elven like in an Elven city be called? Just big old treehouse tavern. I'm trying to think of a good name. The Golden Tongue. Why the Golden Tongue? Give me a give me a I don't dislike the name Golden Tongue. I just want like a good reason why why we call it the Golden Tongue in this city specifically. I feel like that would be like the tavern that all the trade like the high end traders go to. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a rich boy tavern. It does sound like a rich boy tavern. Yeah. The Star Spire faction is trying to study the new complete. Oh, you know what? I like that. Recently, or like they have because they don't know what it was. Yeah, they have been studying. They, they have been studying the magic. What caused the great change? And results that came from the great came from the great change, and what could have caused it. I like that a lot. That was a good idea. All right, back to the tavern. I, God damn it. There, fuck. There we go. The Golden Lung, the Oak and Barrel. I think you already have one. I did already have one. I forget the name of it, though. But I didn't like that much. Nature's Gift, the Treetop, the Tree Lights, Ambrosia's Hollow, the Oaky Mug. The Pointy Pine Cone. The Pointy... The, wait, the what? The Pointy Pine Cone, and the door is in the shape of an elf ear. I really like, all right, I really like the pointy pine cone. And I really like, what was the other one that I really liked? Uh, 
There was two I like. I like the oaky mug and the pointy pine cone. I'm going to do a poll in chat. Tavern name. We're going to do pointy pine cone. And what was the other one that I said I liked? Fuck, what was the other one? Uh, uh, the, 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 the oaky mug. The oaky mug. I like the oaky mug the a lot. The oaky mug. Yeah. The oaky mug. All right. Poll is live in chat. I'll give that a minute. Go ahead and vote on which one we're going to call the tavern. I just put a little filler. Tavern dash. And in this corner, we got the pointy pine cone. In I could corner, have both. That's not a bad... Yeah, it, there, you know what? There would be more than one tavern here. In that case, it's you a... should definitely have the golden tongue. Because it's just full of, like, people who are just... Yeah, let's do taverns. Well, you could have one in each spire. I don't think the spire is going to have taverns. Why not? Because they're not they're not necessarily like, drinking. OK, I'm thinking like how do you how do you, how do you, this is stuff how do you that... visualize the towers, the spires? Because right now I'm visualizing like a circle with like a spire and like another circle with like a spire and another circle with like a spire and then like the cities built around it. Yes, essentially, yeah. Okay, so, like, are you just putting all the taverns in the... Like, you don't think the higher-ups at... Like, there wouldn't be, like, a tavern in the Glade, uh, Glade Army Spire? That, like, all the army goes to... Like, all those people go to after they're off? Okay, you know what? I th That makes sense. And then, like, oh, there wouldn't be, like, a King Spire where, like, all the nobles go to? They probably wouldn't go to a tavern, though. So probably That's what I'm saying. King spire. Yeah. But, like, the Star Spire, you don't think there's, like a cafe that like all the students go to yeah you're probably right maybe like i'm like, thinking like general i'm thinking right now i'm thinking city. like general this is like general population tavern like okay, where's your so everyday traveler gonna spires. go to yeah correct where's your everyday traveler gonna go to in the city without going to a spire where they're spending high class money uh i want two oki mug is good oki mug one Uh, let's end the poll. All right, the Oki Mug. Let's start with the let's start with the Oki Mug. Oh, I added. All right, the Oki Mug. All right, what is the Oki Mug like? Somebody give me what 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 would the Oki Mug be? Starbucks Cafe. I do think, you know what? Yeah, the Star Spire would definitely have the equivalent like a Starbucks. The Sleeping Sequoias, Sequoias, Se Sequoias, Sequoias. I think that's saying right. The Drunken Stump. All right, what would, okay, let's start with the Oki Mug. What would the Oki Mug be like? Somebody give me some uh, ideas for the Oki Mug. Because we're going to have two. I don't want the taverns to be the same. I want there to be, like, some differences between the two. It would just be, like, a standard wood tavern. The guy who was selling crepes at Laos and found. <laughs> I forgot about that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, well, I finally won something. I, dude, I forget, man. I have to go back. I, I had a name for him. I have to go back and watch SOA, at least that part of that episode. I forget, man. Because that an old building an covered NPC. ooh, an old building covered in vines and moss. Okay, this is gonna we're gonna say the Oki mug is like the the basic like kind of not low class but like your average. Also, uh, for those joining, uh, Secrets of Alteran and Helen Haxos take roughly around thirty years prior to this world. A basic tavern in Elven Glade near the primary gates. Ooh, of the city what if it was just shaped like a giant oak mug like it was just a round tavern oh like i like mug. that very calming yeah welcoming tavern for travelers to stop in at after a long day's travel to the city it is shaped it is okay yeah it is circular in shape and has what appears to be a handle coming off of the side of the building that looks like a mug tavern itself is covered in natural moss and vines to give it a pleasant yet worn look 
It's literally an oaky mug. The oaky mug would be more of a humble establishment. A lot of additions to the shell that is the trunk. Now, a tavern near the poor districts where they would have cheap food, drinks, and rooms. There isn't really a poor district here, though. This is, like, the capital city, so there's not, like, really, like, poverty here. There's not poverty in the capital city. No, that would be... What kind of scam is this? That's because... I'm going to tell you why. That's because it would be... Uh, Does it kick them all out? No, it's Cantor. Oh, so <laughs> they kicked all the poor people out of Elven No, Blade, Cantor's the like the lower class. Through. Yeah, Cantor's like... It's like right outside of the gates of Elvenglade. Oh, so it is a a tent town outside of Elvenglade. It's not a tent town. It's just like I, the people, just, the people that can't afford surprised. to live in the city live outside in the small village in Cantor. Okay. Cantor could be a crawl space for small creatures. I like that. The Golden Tongue is a trader tavern. I do like the gold. We're going to use the Golden I Tongue. I love the Golden yeah. Tongue. I like the Golden Tongue because I can yeah. just imagine like a bunch of smooth talking like trade yeah. people and like bards mm -hmm. uh real quick everybody if you're watching please like the video that'd be fantastic if you're watching right now make sure you click that little like button it helps us out helps us out a lot all right uh what was the other tavern uh let's do another poll between two taverns i like that i think that's a good idea get some Is engagement there a going town next to an elf town what's that uh one quick question before i go from number 16 kelbex uh is there a human town next to an elf town is there a human town next to an elf town? Um, I can tell you right now, there would be... I mean, I wouldn't really say... So this is the continent we're working on right now. Uh, the one to your left right here, my mouse is kind of spinning. This is Elvenglade, and it's primarily like the continent of the elves. Uh, however, it's not strictly just elves. There are other races and such here. However, it is just, it's just primarily run by elves. Uh, so there wouldn't be a just a human-only town. Uh, like for example, like there'd Norwood. Yeah, there'd be a lot of there's a lot of humans here. It's just like, you know, it this is primarily an elven continent, but that doesn't mean there's not a bunch of humans either. Get out, peasants will find to take her own town right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. That's... that's pretty much it, James. Yeah. Alright, back to uh let's go back to Elven Glade. City location. Uh, yeah, I want one more tavern. One more bait one more tavern that's gonna like, be in town. Uh this okay, the, the Oki mug, it's like your standard run of the mill. You just while well, you just walked in, you're tired, you just want to grab a fucking drink. You were you just came from the sea, you've been traveling all day. At the impact tactics, Jesus Christ. Alright, give me like two more tavern names. We'll do a poll. Uh the golden tongue is not gonna be in the poll because that's gonna be a whole separate th thing. What we got here? So humans are lower class. No, humans are not lower class. <laughs> There's humans that live in the capital city. It's not. That's not what it is. It's just they, maybe there's people that in our Norway just don't have as good as jobs. The, the steamy, steamy tactics. tactics. The steamy tactics. I feel like that would be like a bathhouse. I f I do like that as a bathhouse actually. Cause like you know like a. The steamy tactics. I feel like that would be a bathhouse in, like, the Army Spire. I don't know why. I like it. Yeah, put it in there. All right. The leafy, the leaky leaf shake. <laughs> the burning vine. Uh, the house called uh, Serenity. Ser Serenity? Oh, Serenity. A tea house called Serenity. I like that a lot. Wasted Wonder. Uh, Zyme Hyle. Falling Leaf Tavern. The Cave Crag. I like nature's gift, maybe mages go there. Nature's gifts is good too. Where's the one I liked a lot? Uh, one I really, really liked the leaky leaf shake. I don't know about the shake at the end. I like the leafy leak. All right, leafy leak's gonna be one. The tipsy leaf. Ooh, I like the tipsy leaf. All right, let's do. Here's the poll. Tavern two. We're gonna do the leaky leaf. Falling leaf. The leaky leaf? Wasn't that what it was? Tipsy leaf. The tipsy leaf. Or I'm gonna add option three. Now I was gonna add the leaky tipsy leaf, but that's just too much. It doesn't roll the tongue very well. That's, yeah, that's it that's, doesn't roll the tongue. Alright, here. Ash community, here we go. Alright, poll is started. The, either the leaky leaf or the tipsy leaf. It's gonna be one of those two. We'll leave that up for a minute. Ooh, I have a question for you, Brennan, while What's we up? wait for that poll. Yes. Uh, Codex of Quest talks about a quest board. Yes. 
I want to imagine that these quest boards still exist in this world. Oh, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. And no one knows how they work. Nobody knows how they work. They're just fucking there. Because they're from the beginning. They are, yeah. We used them and in, in SOA, too. Of, because of the change, like, that magic was lost. Oh. And that, that'd be one hell of a fucking plot hook one day. One just magically appears out of nowhere, and they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, fuck? a new one shows up. Yeah, like, that'd be what? good. I don't know. I just wanted to mention that because I'm sitting here like, you know, we kind of have like this caused a lot of changes in the world. A lot of magic was lost in this because yeah. like I want to imagine that where it happened was also like the center of magic at the time. Let's see. All right. It looks like Tipsy Leaf got the win. So let's end that real quick. Oh, yeah. Tipsy Leaf. All right. And then we have. All right. Tipsy Leaf. All right, what's the tipsy leaf like? So we have the oaky mug is warm, it's homey. It looks like a mug. It's got vines and moss growing on. Nice and show. What would the tipsy leaf be? Should this be like the I feel party like it's bar? It's very clean. Oh, never mind. We got it. No, no. I different. mean, like, like it's super, like, it's where you party hard, but for whatever reason, it's always spotless. Like the homey, like you have like the homey, like there's like candle wax, whatever. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like for whatever reason, it is like. It's a big okay. It's a big party tavern in the city. Suspiciously clean. <laughs> All right, it's the big party tavern in the city. For most go on the weekends to enjoy. Oh, so you don't a have to take any of my ideas. High quality drink. Uh, the big party tavern in the city where most go on the weekends to enjoy a high quality drink that packs quite the punch. Live music and performances occur nearly every night even on their slow nights there always seems to be a crowd despite the popularity of the tipsy leaf Thanks to the use of magic and great employees, the tavern itself remains in constant. Uh, it it's remains owned by a halfling. It's constantly a new age hipster clean vibe. and up to health standards. I don't know why. I just feel like maybe not by the end of the night, but every like the start of every night. Uh -huh. It's just spotless, like it's immaculate, and I don't like. No yeah, one I just put for why. for now. I just put thanks to the use of magic and great employees, the tavern itself remains constantly clean up to health and up to health standards. Just the for tipsy now, main, the tipsy leaf's main drink should be the rain's drop. Oh, tavern itself is. Oh oh oh. Uh, ogre. That's what uh, Drink. that's what the quest board does. Oh. Quests that are posted on the quest board then copy onto every other quest board. Oh yeah, that's literally the entire premise of our first book. Uh, that is literally the premise. Quite of literally, quests. yeah, what the Codex of Quest is. Yeah. Uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab it. Yeah, the Codex of Quest was our first book we put out, and that is the entire premise. It is a book full of 55 one shots. Um, and the the like the first like couple pages of the the book explain like. Yeah, there's a bunch of these quest boards through the realm. Whenever a new quest gets put on it, it gets put on the rest of the quest boards through the realm for other people to take it. Mostly dwarves running it. <laughs> Filled with drunken Irishmen at the end of the night. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So we got some locations. Uh, I want a library. I think I think a library makes sense. I feel like that should be in the Star Spire. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what's what? Anything else notable notable here that we would have? In what? Think, and just in and uh, I don't know. In Elven Glade for well, city locations, or should we uh, move on to something else for now? We can move on to uh, Cantor. Yeah. Tomorrow, you just picked up the book. Nice. Nice. I hope you picked it up yesterday, <laughs> not today, because we had. It, uh, oh God, I, I, I'm gonna feel so bad. Okay, good. I'm assuming you picked it up probably yesterday because we just had our 
Uh, everything is on fire sale, and it ended yesterday was the last day. Yeah, uh, for anybody in chat, if you were listening, uh, I have about five or six more orders to send out, um, finally, from the, uh, the Everything is on Fire sale. Uh, we had a lot of people buy stuff, and I'm very thankful for it. It really helped uh, fund our chip for Gen Con this year, so thank you to... The first book was based off the idea of Craigslist egg page being magical. It was what? <laughs> JD Miller was like, yes, you heard that right. The first book was based off the idea of Craigslist Gig's page being magical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it, JD. <laughs> Ian, how you doing, bud? It's quite nice. Trasgo enjoys going for the tipsy leave. Oh, Trasgo would a hundred percent enjoy going to the tipsy leave. Uh, let's see. Is Kyla a successful jeweler now? Oh my God, you're right. Kyla did have a jewelry. There was a jewelry store. Magical pharmacy for wizards who can't afford. At this afford point, to you just need stash. to go back through and take. Notes. I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. Th or I just. Or go through your Be notes. smart and go through my... Paul, you think I took notes for Secrets of Altaran? I would hope you took some <laughs> notes for Secrets of Altaran. Paul. For continuity reasons. Paul. <laughs> you but I know you will underestimate I, no, my I preparation for being a DM. Why do you yeah. think I'm doing this? <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> to I'm keep here me, to just organize You're your here thoughts, to keep me on make sure fucking we keep track, a man. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm Paul. I am one of the community managers on the Discord. I help run the website and do a bunch of other things. Um, you can't get a hold of Steak or Brandon. I'm usually the one other than Nico. Me and Nico. Uh, and I just help keep them organized. Ooh, tomorrow, the library of... Uh, ooh, I'm, I'm putting that down. I'm just going to put the Nebula library. Ooh, I like. Oh, I like. Yeah, that. I just put that down there. We can put like a bullet point for it in a minute. But do they have an there. observatory, or would that be a different? No, this would have an, This would. This would definitely have an observatory. Okay. It definitely would. I feel um, like. So, like yeah. in the Star Spire, you have the college. Yeah. You have. It's the second tallest. Yes, yeah, there's. Yeah, they study magic and in space. Have, you would have an observatory. Yes. Just Hi, Killer Rabbit. How's it going? Observatory. All right, let's move on for now for a little bit. We've done um, quite a bit here. I don't want to do Cantor yet. You don't? No, let's do All something right. different. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's change it up. We've been we've done a bunch of cities and everything, locations and stuff. Let's change it up. Are we are we doing? Are we doing what I think we're doing? I don't know. What do you think we're doing? Uh, we talked about going to religions, so that way we have the main pantheon. We did. Go over. Yeah, we did. So the main pantheon, currently we just have the God of Creation because of the city of Cascade. Is that the name of the god, Radisanu? It's Radisanu, yes. Who came up with that name? I did. I like it. Radisanu, the God of Creation. Radisanu, the God of Creation. Um, I like that. Very robotic in personality i can and i have i actually have a tone sheet or i just haven't typed it up here of how this god acts it's very like no i i created everything like no we're gonna we're gonna stop that um very lawful okay lawful good okay or lawful neutral probably would be better and it created a lot but it didn't it's not the one that's responsible for the creation of all the re like races it created the world which is somewhat different from like yeah. traditional gods of creation. Yeah. I don't know. I just yeah. have the name. Radisanu, and... the creator of the world slash realm of all Terran. Very. What you say? Would a robotic be a good word for that? No, robotic would be the good word. It's 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 like, like a lawful neutral. Like monotone uh, or like mono. It believes it believes in logic and organization. It's basically a personification of me, Brandon. Logic. <laughs> It's so you put you. Oh, this is your self insert. This is what this is. Okay, no, no, no. So here, here's here's how this works. So for those of you who don't know, we have a role play section in the Discord, and when we went to delete it and rebuild it, we wanted to do it in role play as well. So we needed to create something that had meta powers God, to create. Yeah. To create the channels and create the realm of Cascade. All right, you know so what? I the guy believes in logic and meta magic. There, fuck you, Paul. Um, <laughs> we'll have a new bunny. New bunny is still a place. New bunny is. I'll show where new bunny is actually right now. New bunny is actually. 
Um, <laughs> where the where the <laughs> no new bunny took place in Haxos. Uh, yeah, New Bunia is not on this map, but it's, like, on this continent somewhere. Probably by it the It will be when woods. we're done with it. It will be when we're done with it. I'm going to remake this entire... When we're done, one of the things we're going to do is remake this entire map. This you is know? the old this map? Is the old, this is the OG map that's, like, in the Codex. This is what took place during Secrets and yeah. then after Secrets. There was the God believes in logic, metamagic. He is, yeah, it just... he is very lawful slash neutral in nature. It continues to, I don't know, uh, thrive in creative expression to create more worlds across the multiverse. Sure, <laughs> fucking, we'll do that. No, that's a, that's essentially it. That's yep. That's how I wrote it because we needed something in RP reason to do something. So I was like, well, it's just me, so I'm gonna make it like very robotic. <laughs> see me. All right, let's see. The village of the drunk. All right, we got to go back here. Let's see. Doing good. Blah, 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 pizza, something, something. So I guess the, the the first thing we should do for a pantheon is what do we want gods of? And that's what I'm good. People are giving ideas in chat right now. So like, so like, uh, yeah. So got a, got, got... A god of discord, god of drunks. I think a god of food and alcohol would be good. Uh, god of war, this... honor, protection. All right, so um, I'm gonna just start typing in. So just we like have god fillers. of war. Yeah. I like uh, God. Of, do we want like a nature? Yeah, nature would be good. I, I do like food and alcohol, kind of like uh, Bacchus. Is God of. Uh, I, I saw Discord. I am a big fan of um, like having a chaos god. If yeah. Not too. Yep. Um, you said God of. I want um, a God of like food and alcohol, like kind of like Bacchus, but obviously not Bacchus, food. like our own kind of God. Uh, our, like I our like, own uh, Bacchus, essentially. I like um, Pathfinder's version of that. Kaden Kayleen. I don't know if you know his story. I don't know. <laughs> Raddus, god, god of cheese. Of... You know, we, we have to have a god of cheese for Nico. If we threw your fucking self-inserting ass in here as Roddy Sanu, we gotta throw a god of cheese in here for Nico. It is... Just god of cheese. Just god of it. nothing. It's just not a god just cause. It's just more or less like I have a canon god. That's the only... Well, I made three gods, but I killed... Yeah, I didn't kill him. I just stopped using them. Would the god be more of an aspect of logic rather than belief? You know what? Yeah, I think it'd be more of an aspect. No, yeah, it, yeah, it would that be makes an sense. Aspect of, it just it is logic. Yeah. Uh, god of nothing, decent disease and death. Yeah, we'd need a god of death. Um, I like. I don't know. Do we want a god of disease and death, or a god of death and then a god of disease? I think they'd be two separate or, things, personally. Yeah, because like you have, like, and that's the other thing. Like a lot of uh, God, of RPG. God of Dwarves, a normal height man. A hipster god. Oh, what if uh, we just, what if we said like a god of the dude bros? I want to, yeah, you, know, you mean, know, I'm making dude Brodian. Uh, oh right, god. I think we have, I have, <laughs> I think I just made that one too. I, God of the dude bros. Oh, I, yeah, I just made <laughs> dude Brodian. Um, Call him. I'll, I'll delete mine. Rename it, dude. Brodian. God of life and death. Um. Let's see. God of life and death. That makes a hipster god. Uh. God of this should be. A, yeah, yeah. Because like, uh, should disease. the god of death okay, be like so, a healing? Yeah, I think so that, so that makes sense. So far, we have we have god of creation, god of nature, god of discord, god of food of alcohol, cheese, god of discord. I hate god it here. of death. Well, you know, Discord and like chaos. Sh should we like should it be like, like the, the god of like chaos then, rather than Discord? The, tra the traditional, <laughs> God damn it! You know, the traditional definition of Discord. Yeah, just chaos incarnate. How many how many yeah. gods in the pantheon? I'm not sure yet, honestly. We gonna have as many as we want. I mean, the more options we have, the more chaotic we can be. I guess. I mean, we just um, added the god of Discord and dude bros, so. Also, like, but to be fair, like, the Codex of Quest has dude bros in it. It does. That's what I'm saying. Like, this this and realm is not meant to be taken super seriously. It's not supposed to take itself seriously. Yeah, like... But like, at the same time, it, it can, you know? Like, there's very also, much... Like, there's you very, can pick and choose. Fuck you, Paul. Uh, <laughs> there's very much high fantasy tropes, like, in this realm. But also, like, it's just supposed to be fun. Yeah, like, you want to... Yeah, hey, I'm playing, uh, you know, Chuck. He is a uh, paladin of Dude Brodian. And just a fucking dude, bro. I <laughs> think that's it. God, 
Right, Paul. I'm gonna change this to no, no god of me. Uh, chaos. Um, <laughs> Riv Trouse to God of Washing Pants and a River on a Tuesday. <laughs> what? So, I think it's the other thing about this pantheon is like, since we're doing system agnostic and since we're doing it like anyone, you can pick and choose which gods you want in your world. Oh, your yeah. Version. You don't have to use these, um, or you can just add your own. If you don't like God of the point. Dude Bros, don't need it. Uh, God of Cheese, I love the God of Now, I need a name for the God of Cheese, and it has to come from Nico. Oh, I'm so sorry for whoever just bought the Codex and you missed the sale. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Thank you for the support. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I feel like, I feel horrible. I got two orders today after the sale ended, and I was like, I feel so fucking bad. I hate when that happens. Like I, I hate. I mean, you have to end the sale. Though. I know, like, and I put it in the, the sale, and you have to end it. I know. I put it on the Discord. And I put it on YouTube. Like, hey, sales ending. And it was on Facebook and everything yeah. else. Um. So here's a question for you, Brandon. Actually, it's, it's still technically on sale. I still got everything like ten bucks off, so I'm just kind of keeping it cheaper. That's true. So here's a question for you. What's up? In your pantheon. Yeah. How do so like are there gods that become gods from just people worshiping them? Because I see a lot of people be like, like you mean like lesser gods? Like lesser gods? Ooh, god of knowledge and wisdom. How did we miss that? I don't know. Don't don't hold me in habits. Yeah, I know. I know what happens. Just me as a person, like I care more about people getting our our stuff in their hands because I, I just thoroughly enjoy people using the stuff we make versus right, like making money off of knowledge. it. Yeah. So when I see that happen, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You could have got it cheaper. I'm sorry, you missed the sale. I'm so sorry. Can I be a god? Top hat. We're not adding um, people like directly. We'll take ideas, but like if I if I yeah. take here's the thing. And like, I feel, you know what? Fuck it. I don't feel bad saying, okay. Part of me feels bad saying this. If I add one person as a, you know, uh, as like a God or something, then I have to add the 50 people watching. It's just, that's just how I work. Cause I want to be fair for everybody. You know what I mean? So I will gladly take and pull ideas, but I don't want to add just like one person specifically. Cause I feel like that's not fair to other people that can't be here live or, you know what I mean? Do we want a God of love? Oh, like our version of Cupid? Absolutely, yeah. Or would that be a lesser deity? Mm. This is where I'm getting into... Like, obviously, you have, like, the main, like, top... Like, do we want to divide these into, like, power levels? Of Probably. Gods? I think there should be, like, the primary so gods like, and then, like, the lesser gods. So, like, oh, prime god. deities. I'm not a god. Paul's not a god. I named the god. That's all I did. Yeah. <laughs> Paul is not the god. So what would you say the prime deities are? Like nature, war, Yeah, war, nature, death. death uh, chaos? Chaos, disease. Pro well, maybe not even disease. So right now I have creation, life. nature, war, knowledge, death, chaos. Would creation not be life? Oh, uh, creation would be like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, because I'm not a god. If anything, I'm a robot. Just a goat. I'm a couple NPCs. I want to, you it. know what? Yeah, I want a goat god. I just, I, <laughs> Paul, when you like a, like a, like a, like a, like a false god that's just a goat. People worship a goat for some fucking reason. All right. So, uh, other than prime de deities, what would you call the next set of just deities? Probably, yeah. Or like secondary and then we would have or like minor. Like lesser. Yeah, like lesser. Well, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put. Uh, just a friendly reminder, if you were watching the stream, please give the video a like if you could. It really helps us out a lot. And subscribe. You'll get notified the next time and we do And subscribe cool if you're watching. Like That's also true. Subscribing is cool. Cool people subscribe. All right. So here's what I have right now. I have prime deities, deities, and lesser deities. Let me refresh real quick. I think. I think this notebook. All right. Let's, let's see here. Deity. All right. Let's, let's. Why can't I fucking close this? There we go. All right, prime deities. We've got uh, the god, god of creation, creation, god of nature, war, knowledge, death, chaos. Uh, deities that are just right. These you know they're a little lower. God of love, food, and alcohol, cheese, dis cheese, disease, dude, bros. Uh, lesser deities. <laughs> lesser deities. Goat. <laughs> there's just there's just a goat. Good night, JD. That has divine power. Just a that goat. I feel like yeah. it's just out in the middle of a forest. Yeah. 
<laughs> somebody you know give me a mean? goat. Like, we need a goat name. Somebody give me somebody give me a name for the goat. Give me goat names, please. God of beer, that would be um the god of food and alcohol that we have. God of light and uh god of darkness, we do need those. Yeah. <laughs> Unnamed. <laughs> somebody please give me goat names. The god will be lesser, but everybody treats Yeah, the people that oh yeah, fully the people that follow the goat god think oh. he's a, a like a primal god yeah, the goat that somehow received his divine power um otis the golden goat billy be killed Beazle. Beazle 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 jonathan means. goat bah. Go, uh. go to kiss otis the goat <laughs> billy bob joe bob <laughs> now what did we say god of darkness is that what you said we went? yeah oh, light um dark. yeah because there has to be because i used erebus uh god of darkness um in one of the first campaigns that we did in altaran so uh Dungeons be... and Vander, yeah okay all right, I'm going to do a poll for some of these names that I'm seeing. I'm going to just go through and pick four. Uh, start a poll. Uh, goat, because I can only do four. Goat, God, name. Uh, we're going to uh, do... Can't be killed by normal means. What else can the goat do? Uh, I feel like the goat just... <laughs> it's just a goat. It wow. somehow received divine power. <laughs> it's just a fucking goat, means. man, for some um, reason. Uh, can be found randomly Let's throughout... See. <sighs> Throughout the realm, I don't know. I feel They're like it's Frank goose. Henry. I feel like this is just the goose. You've heard of the goose. All right, here we go. Here's the games. four. I just all right, chat. We got Bob, Otis, Cletus, and Ba. Oh my god, we can't do Cletus. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, isn't that a Grizz Squatch? No. Is that one of his names? No. No, Aaron. I don't know why. No, one of like isn't that one of the names of his characters? I don't, I don't that know. That he does, I don't, I don't know. Um, God of temperatures. Now, I don't know why I'm just thinking like the goose that people throw randomly into their games that just shows up, can't die, annoys the players, and then just like runs. It's just off. there, yeah. Yeah. Each chunks uh, of the ground. <laughs> I like also the only other. It can fly and shoot lasers. Yes, Paul. It can fly. At it. It can fly and shoot lasers, Paul. Maybe. It oh, maybe the bomb explosion. Maybe the great change is what gave the goat powers. It can fly and shoot lasers. Uh, I'm gonna give the poll another minute, and then we'll have the name. It looks like Otis is in the in the lead right now. I like Otis. I like Otis. I'm gonna give it another minute. That'd be fair. But yeah, I like Otis. Uh, so, just to go that somehow received divine power, um, this is unknown as a following, so it maintains it. <laughs> you can't, the, can't be the killed. Goose god of geese. Can't be killed by normal means. <laughs> the goat god was the ground. bomb. <laughs> Guys, was I feel like we're just getting a goat simulator territory now. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, let's, all right. We're going to stop the poll. It looks like Otis, Otis got the win. Came in second right. place. I'm curious. Otis came in. Otis won with 34. percent Then was Cletus, Ba, and Bob at last. Cletus All right. And ba tied. So it's now named Otis. <laughs> yeah. This Otis. is a lesser deity named Otis. Yep. It's just a goat that somehow received divine power. <laughs> this is unknown. Has a following, so it maintains it. Uh, it can't be killed by normal means. Um, it is unknown how to kill it, or why you would want to. <laughs> can be found randomly throughout the realm if threatened it can fly and shoot lasers <laughs> uh what what would it do that's positive i feel like it would lead a, the party somewhere would it though i feel like it's just a fucking goat man it's just know, a fucking like, goat i feel like it would lead it to an apple like it would lead it nothing <laughs> like it what okay no what if like i don't think it would apple. intentionally like, though i think the, i think otis the goat would just like just travel the world just being a fucking goat and then like people would see him be like is otis the goat god we need to follow otis immediately where is he leading us to and he's just in a field grazing and they think the field's magical for some reason for some fucking reason <laughs> the party follows uh let's see parties have followed the goat to various undescribed locations yeah, it's just a fucking goat. It does. It's not. Yeah, no. It's just a goat. Can't speak. Uh, no, I, I feel I like it can't it speak. I feel yeah, it's, it's just a goat that can fly just and shoot laser beams for some fucking reason. 
if threatened, it can fly and shoot lasers. If threatened, yeah. <laughs> it's it is it goes, a goat. It Parties goes. have followed the goat to various undescript locations with nothing um of value or uh what else? Nothing of value or uh Oh god. Hey everybody, we're building realm today. Goat god. Oh, well, all it right. It is a goat. I love Literally it. Literally just a goat. All right. I just want to make sure like we get it across that it's literally just a goat. All right. All right. Let's refresh. Sorry, I was typing that sync. one up. <laughs> yeah, sync this notebook we got here. All right. And I think that's going to be a good point to end tonight because it's already 10:30. We started a little late tonight. Paul and I both had long days. Let's let's do a little, yeah. little recap. Let's do a little recap of what we did today. World. Let's go to Elven Glade. Um, we started with the capital city of Elven Glade. To kind of flesh it out a little bit. Notable figures. We have Duke Basurai, uh, Caldas Forgoth, the uh, Orc Advisor, Elias Silvermoon, the Grandmaster of the Elven Com uh, Combat College, uh, Trasgo, the male rat humanoid that's in charge of the Waste Disposal Service, and he's on the City Council. Uh, Silk Grimark uh, is the Duke Spymaster. The locations, we have the three spires. The King Spire, the Glade Army Spire, the Star Spire. Uh, we have the Taverns, the Oaky Mug, and the Tipsy Leaf. Um, and that's what we had there. And then we go to our religions. We go to the main pantheon. And we started getting our prime deities, which is uh, Radi Sanu, Radi, Radi Sanu, the god of creation. We have a god of nature, war, knowledge, death, chaos, light, and darkness, which don't have we'll names yet. We'll have to yet. name those next time. Yeah, we'll name those next time. And then we finished up this chaotic night. Uh, we also have the god of love, food and alcohol, cheese, disease, the dude bros. And then we have the lesser deities uh, right now. Otis the goat, just a goat that somehow received divine power. This is unknown, has a following, so it maintains it. Can't be killed by lesser means. It is unknown how to kill it or why you'd want to, question mark. Can be randomly uh, found <laughs> randomly through the realm. If threatened, it can fly and shoot lasers. Is a goat. Parties have followed the goat to various undescriptive locations with nothing of value to find. It is a goat. <laughs> Literally just a goat. Did you see what Psychotic said? No, what do you say? Otis, the god of absolute terror, aka the G O A T. Go. Yeah, I, thought I capitalized G O A T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me put boom, 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 boom. Oh, I love it. Banana God. We can add a banana God next time. All right, everybody, we're we're gonna end it there tonight. We started. Sorry, we started a little late. Uh, I'm in the middle middle of moving too. Uh, Stakes in the middle of moving. Paul's in the middle of moving of his girlfriend uh to a different place too so we're just kind of fucking busy right now but make sure you like the video make sure you like the stream and uh tomorrow night i will have up the pre-launch kind of page for gamma rangers episode three um gotta get that exported and i will get that up tomorrow and scheduled so with that being said everybody thank you so much for watching make sure you like make sure you subscribe and uh we will see you friday night for episode three of the gamma rangers paul you got anything to say bud no, join the Discord. We're getting uh, community nights going again. So I think tomorrow we're yeah. doing a Jackbox night. Let's throw a little Discord command in there real quick. Let that pop up. All right, everybody. Join the Discord. Like the stream. Helps us out. And we will see you next time over here on the Cantripcast. Good night and goodbye. Have a good one.